Shamai! So today I've got a book haul for you. There are nine books in total and no, I did not buy them all at the same time. Six of the nine were from charity shops so I felt that that was, that was a good deal I was doing. I was getting books for me and I was giving money to charity so only three of them I bought brand new. So let's just jump right in. So the first book I'm going to show you is actually the most recent book that I bought and that is We Should All Be Feminists by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Now this is an adaptation from the TED talk that she did and so I'll leave a link to that in the description below. I thought that this was a, a very appropriate book to buy seeing as it was International Women's Day on the 8th of March and so thought I would give this a read because it's a very important subject not just at the moment but in general just in life. So it's only about 50 pages long so once I finished it I'll pop up a quick review just to get my thoughts out and hopefully recommend it to you. The next book that I bought was 199 in Sainsbury's and that is The Revenant by Michael Punker? Punk? I don't know. Who knows? And Obviously I think everyone's aware of the film The Revenant which finally got Leonardo DiCaprio his Oscar. Please tell me it was an Oscar and not one of the others. But I haven't actually watched the film so I thought let's give the book a read and it was $1.99 so I picked it up just because. Now the next two books I bought in a raffle. I paid 50p a ticket and bought two tickets and that meant I could then pick two books and I thought that was amazing. So the first book that I picked up was The Readers of Broken Wheel Recommend and this was from Richard and Judy's book club from WH Smith and I think it was from the 2015 book club. Um, so it's not new but it's not old either. Um, and the spine hasn't been cracked, it's not second hand um, and I thought that was a pretty good deal, 50p for a book. Um, this book is about um, Sarah who has left Sweden aged about 28 I think and she takes a suitcase of books with her to I think it's Broken Wheel, Iowa um, and then sets up a bookstore there because there isn't enough drama happening I don't think, I think that's, that's what I'm getting from that one and it's about books it's about traveling and it's about finding yourself in a different country so I thought that was very appropriate for me because that is basically what I want to do with my life. The next book that I picked up in that raffle was A Year of Marvelous Ways and I'm just going to read you the back because it sounds so lovely. I shall read it to you now. This is a story about Marvelous Ways, an 89 year old woman who sits by a creek in Cornwall waiting for a last adventure and it's about Francis Drake, a young soldier who washes up there reeling from war and broken hearted. It's about the magic in everyday life and the lure of the sea, the healing powers of storytelling and slow gin and how we carry on when grief comes snapping at our heels. It wasn't something I was originally going to pick up but then once I read the back I just I just kind of like fell in love with it a bit. The cover also drew me in because I think like just like the warmth of that kind of little scene there it just just seems really lovely and then one of the quotes on the back is a glorious poem of a novel and I thought that just sounds beautiful that that makes me really want to read it and both of those are quite short books as well so hopefully it won't take me too long to read them and the next two books I bought were from Wilkinson's on their big like charity table and you just pay however much money you want um, to charity to get however many books you want um, and so the first book that I picked up was Lesser Used Languages um, and the thing I found really cool about this is on this side it's English and then you flip it over and then it's Welsh um, and so when you like do the middle so that bit's Welsh and then that bit's upside down but it's English so. um, and I thought that was pretty cool because I want to carry on with my Welsh and it's kind of like the topic that I'm interested in about minority languages um, and that's what I want to do at uni so I thought it's on the charity pile why not? Why not? The next book that I picked up from that pile was this one um, and I've seen a lot of reviews online about this one on booktube, on um, tumblr, on loads of different platforms um, and the overarching opinion that I've seemed to get is that everybody loves it um, so I'm gonna give it a read. It is YA which is a bit of a Hmm, area for me because I there was like a period of my life when I just read YA and so I've kind of gone off it a bit um, but I thought I'd try and get back into it and that is 
Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Um, I don't actually know what it's about. I've not even actually read the back. I just know that it's a book that is recommended by Booktube. And so, well, give it a read. Now the next two books are both from Oxfam and I bought them at the same time. They were next to each other on the shelves. They're in the same series. And that is the second two books of the Lord of the Rings. Now I really really love these covers, they are so pretty, um, in my opinion. <laughs> they're the 1991 editions and so they're not old but they're not new um, and I just I just kind of like fell in love with them. They were 2 dollars each and so I was like well I got to buy those. The last book that I bought was from Asda's because you know you know when you, <laughs> you know when you get gifts for Christmas and then they don't fit you so you gotta take them back? I did that and I got a gift card and then I was like well what do I spend this on? Obviously books but they don't have a lot of choice in Asda's which is the unfortunate thing. Um, but when this came, when this was coming out I work in a bookstore and so I flicked through it before it was out on the shop floor um, and I just think it's really really pretty um, and that is Happy by Fern Cotton. I really love this cover, um, it's so pretty and it kind of like reflects what's on the inside so I'll show you some of the pictures that are inside. So like here you've got, um, she's, I'm pretty sure it's that she's done all the illustrations as well um, but like the frame there and, and that one's really pretty too, like a little sunset. And it's just the way that the whole book is laid out. It smells so good as well. Um, yeah, it's just the, just like the nice kind of, like you can't really see, can you? But it's laid out like that. And she's done like little drawings here and there. Um, and also there are bits where you can like write in your answers to what she's written about. I personally probably wouldn't do that because the paper is a bit like, you know when you write with biro and then it smudges and it's just not very nice. It's that kind of paper. So. I, I will document my thoughts about the things that are in it, um, but just not in the book. It's also not kind of one of those books that you read all in one go. Um, I think I'm going to be reading it bit by bit. So if I have any thoughts about it, then I'll just document little, little tidbits here and there and let you know. So in theme with the book, the word of the day today is happiness. And in Welsh, that is hapisroiv. And in French, it is le bonheur. So thank you very much for watching my book haul. Um, I now have to go and read them all, obviously. And so I will see you when I see you. Hoyle.